I don't know who all is in the dating world like me. Um, here I sit in a car being stood up again for like the third time in the past couple of weeks. It's hard. So why? So why make plans? Why lead someone on? Why be a f Just don't do it. If you don't have the balls to go out with somebody, then don't make plans with them. Because it's f a p move. Like, be a stand-up man and don't, don't be selfish. Don't just think of yourself. Think of somebody else for once. So I'm going to count this as a blessing that he was not the right person because he did not show up the way he was supposed to. And he's doing me a favor. And I know that in the end, but it f sucks. Who cares? Hey, TikTok. I know it's been a minute since I posted a video, but I do have a PSA for the online dating men over 50. And I'm going to add over 60 because I turned 60 in November. Guys, ask me out. How's that? Ask me out. Ask me the f*** out, okay? If I'm going to invest two weeks or three weeks of time, good morning, how are you, how's your day, call me at night, we chit-chat or whatever, let's get it to the next level, dude. We're, we're about to be in a nursing home over here, okay? Let's step it up a little bit. Like, whatever happened to let's meet for a cup of coffee? Oh, and I'm going to give you a little twofer advice today. I am not going to help you through a masturbation session on the phone when I haven't even met you. Are you kidding me? F*** out of here with that stuff. And I'm sorry about the language. It's like I say please and thank you like a saint, but I curse like a sailor, especially when it comes to stuff like this. Guys, step up your game. Be a grown man suggests that we go out for a cup of coffee doesn't have to be anything major but like let's meet face to face let's move to the next level so anyway that's my advice step it up guys okay peace damn skip me so don't mind me in my pajamas anyhow um so i had a second date uh planned on thursday and I was actually really looking forward to it. Unfortunately, I had a couple of mass hiring events that were happening um, in two different locations, and it took up a lot of time this week, a lot more than I expected. And so um, I, I just knew I had to catch up on some work. Plus I had some kid drama. It wasn't anything that I had to really be there for, but I wanted to be there emotionally for her. Anyhow, um, I also felt like I got ran over by Mack truck, and I'm pretty sure that had to do with just all the stuff that was going on. Um, I hadn't heard from him until late in the afternoon and it just said still on for tonight. So I took a chance and I said, I'm sorry there, you know, I'll show you the text anyhow. Um, and can we reschedule? And I got a response of okay. Um, I didn't hear anything else. So then I decided I better follow up and say, Hey, I'm really sorry. I hope we can, you know, blah, blah. I'll show you the text um, and I want to go out with you again. I didn't hear anything so I figured okay he got mad uh, that I canceled the date so that's fine. Um, there's nothing I can do about it right? Um, and then tonight at 9 37 I get a text. Why is that so glitchy? There we go. Um, yeah that last line there I'm just thankful I didn't go out with him. That showed true colors within a split second of time. That, that to me is gross. Like, that's not okay. I mean, it's one thing to be upset, but to say something snide like that on the, instead of explaining yourself or, you know, talking to me about it, not explaining yourself, but talking to me about it. Mm. Thank you, universe. Now I know why you made me feel like crap and stressed me out all week. Because you didn't want that person in my life, and now I get exactly why. I don't get people. I don't get dating, I guess, apparently. <laughs>